Well, that sun is bright. But we need that sun for today's show. All right. This is the Flash Geiger episode. This is for you, Flash. We're out here today to demonstrate a little bit of progress that I've made on a project that I've been working on pretty much since I started dragging a camera out into the wilderness and trying to film the Econo Challenge. And unfortunately, as of today, I still haven't actually solved the original problem. But we've made some progress and we want to share it with you because I think it's something that will help you out. This cool idea may just help you with your cheap solar powered electronics. Okay, I'm not out here to pick on this piece of electronics necessarily. It's a great idea. It's a double A battery charger complete with a solar panel designed to charge your double A batteries out here in the wild. But um, what it does have is this power meter which is going to be very helpful to demonstrate what I want to show you today. Uh, okay. According to the manufacturer's own information, charging like that at the absolute best conditions, 140 milliamps, it would take me 7.2 hours to charge just two AA batteries. Okay, I've set it up perfectly at this location. It's high noon sun and the solar power meter is registering just above 120. Not exactly lightning fast. And I'm going to argue next to useless for our purposes. Okay, let's put the power of that solar charger into perspective. My headlamp takes three AAA batteries to run. If I leave this on and run them dead, it will take approximately 12 hours at high noon in order to recharge them fully. That's what I mean. It's, it's, it's not a useful tool yet. Now my goal is to try and figure out a way to recharge what I'm filming all of this on. The camera itself. Now I know you guys have had this problem. You've just solved it the same way we have. By going to the electronic store and buying more batteries for your camera. And if you're like me, you felt a bit like this when you left the store. Not what you might call an Econo Challenge solution for sure. Alright, so here's the cool gift that Flash Geiger gave us. This is a 8.5 by 11 Fresnel lens. And all I've done is I've added a couple of sticks to it with some tape so that I can make a little easel out of it on the ground. And I'll show you why we're doing that. Now look for the needle in that shot. You can't see it because it's buried off the scale. Well, hopefully we'll show you why you need to be careful setting this up. Make sure you're blocking the sun. Here's why. You can end up with a forest fire fairly quickly, so do be careful playing with these. So, we thought we should call this an inexpensive booster for your solar powered electronics. Thank you, Flash Geiger, and thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, and just before I go, I'm going to send you over to Flash Geiger's channel with this uh, link right here. And I want you to say hi if you thought this idea was beneficial for your kit and your enjoyment of the wilderness. He doesn't post any videos on that channel, but if you go through the feed, you'll see that they've been watching us. They've been watching all of us.